Hey, what's up guys? Andy here. Today I've got another pair of headphones for you. Um, these are the Sennheiser HD 559s. I picked these up again on Newegg along with their uh, Techmas sale. Um, there wasn't really any sale on the price, but it did come with a Newegg gift card. And um, I wasn't really going all that much for the deal. Uh, the gift card is a nice touch, but I really wanted a high quality pair of headphones like a pair of Sennheisers like this. Um, so we recently did a review. Uh, Tyler and I both picked up a pair of the Rosewell Prelude lights. Uh, so we both have kind of our opinions on that. Um, but anyway, we've got an unboxing of that. You can check that out over here. And um, so that's a pretty basic pair. That's only 80 bucks. Uh, it isn't really all that great. It's not a cheap pair of headphones by any means, but I'm hoping these will be better, especially being Sennheisers. Uh, these, from what I recall, are, if I recall correctly, if I can actually find the specs, I don't even, I can't even find them. Anyway, um, these guys are an open back pair of headphones, and they have an imp impedance of 50 ohms. So they're a little bit higher quality. Um, generally speaking, more impedance means higher quality because you need a little bit more resistance. There's a little, you need a little bit more power to push everything through. Um, some of the coils and everything to get the sound to come out. So uh, generally the higher quality the parts are, the more input and beans. But anyway, these are an open-backed pair of headphones, and uh, the fun thing about open-backed is uh, it lets a little bit of the sound through from the background, but it kind of makes it sound a little more natural as opposed to being so boxed up and sounding like it's in your head. So anyway, uh, I suppose let's take a look. So, there's nothing really all that special on the box, and in fact, they look pretty simple to open. I just have a couple of these little labels to cut, and I swear to God, there was a spec... Yeah, it is. It's right on the back here. That's why I didn't see it. Um, so these headphones have a frequency response of 14 hertz to 26,000, um, so they're uh, quite a bit lesser of a range than the Rosewell Prelude lights. Those go up to 50,000, but whatever. Higher quality headphones, it's kind of what you should expect. Again, input impedance of 50 ohms, uh, sound pressure level of 108 decibels. Um, other than that, that's really all I get to see on here. There's kind of a verification sticker on the front. Uh, looks like there's a two-year warranty. Box is kind of fancy. The lettering is kind of shiny silver. Uh, so anyway, so it should possibly just slide open like this. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. It should. I suppose I need to have this under here. And then it can slide open like that. Okay, so these are a lot better packaged than uh, the other headphones I've dealt with. Comes with your standard uh, safety manual. I have no idea what's in this, it's just a safety on the front, so I assume that's all it is. Um, yep. So, comes packaged in this nice squishy foam as opposed to some cheap plastic insert, and that's a solid block of foam too with cutouts. So, that's, um, that's in there, that's going to be packaged really well. Um, the cable does come attached, but it should detach if I recall correctly. At least I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't. Um, okay, so it looks like there is only one cable. Yeah, there is only one cable. Um, I, was, I wasn't entirely sure what would come with this because from what I heard on their product page, there was only one cable that came with it. But um, from what I gathered from Newegg, it said there was also an additional cable in it um, that was a bit shorter that terminated in a three and a half millimeter jack instead of a 6.3 millimeter, but, um, whatever. So, yeah, it does look like these are connected. It doesn't look like this. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, ooh, that's a tiny one. So that's not, um, a three and a half millimeter jack. That's, I'm not even entirely sure off the top of my head what size that is, but that's the next smallest one. Um, 
and it's a four pole jack, which intrigues me a little because I wasn't aware that there was any microphone on it. And in fact, I don't think there is because the 6.3 millimeter jack on the other end terminates with a three pole connector. So there's no microphone on this headset, but yeah, so that's the cable. Um, the connectors are gold plated. And again, it's packaged with this fancy Velcro stuff. I really like this Velcro stuff. Um, from what I gather, this is a three meter cable. Feels like about three meters. So yeah, that's about 10 feet. And that's some pretty good cable too. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure why there's a four pole connector on this end because this is just a three pole connector. Um, unfortunately, I can't currently use these at the moment because I have adapters to go um, from a 6.3 millimeter jack to a three and a half millimeter jack, but I don't have an adapter to go the other way around. And unfortunately, unless I hook into my main stereo system, everything on my computer terminates in a three and a half millimeter jack. So I should have an adapter coming pretty soon, but it kind of sucks because I can't really use these headphones until I get a hold of that adapter. So I don't know. Um, Anyway, they feel like some really nice headphones. And again, they are open back. There's a little bit of mesh on this side. Um, and then there's some real soft kind of velvety padding on the inside and as well as on the inside of the headband. Um, so these are over ear headphones. So they're a little bit bigger because they're meant to fit straight over your ears. And they have quite the range of adjustment there. Um, but yeah, they feel some like some really solid headphones. And I believe that's all that's in the box and everything. So yeah, so there's nothing more in here. Um, but anyway, guys, I don't really have anything more for you. So these are the Sennheiser HD 559s. We should have a review for these coming out soon. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But other than that, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, you can hit that dislike button. Uh, a few comments or concerns or anything. If you have any more mixed feelings other than like or dislike, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have any opinions on the HD 559, feel free to let us know. Um, other than that, if you want to help us continue funding so we can continue making videos like these, consider changing your Amazon bookmark to our affiliate link that's down in the description, or consider donating on Patreon, also down in the description, where you can contribute a uh, monthly amount or a per video amount, and then uh, we get we get donations from that, and uh, those both of those help us pretty greatly. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. You guys know the drill. Uh, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for watching.